Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more exciting updates and insights. Today, we're diving deep into the latest developments surrounding the Iraqi dinar, which has been making headlines lately. There's a lot of important information to unpack, so stay tuned. First up, Prime Minister al-Sudani has made a bold commitment to enhance the purchasing power of the Iraqi dinar, not just for those living in Iraq, but also for Iraqis abroad. This is a significant move that signals a desire to restore the dinar to its former glory. For anyone closely monitoring the currency market, this is huge news and could potentially lead to positive changes in the near future. In addition, Militiaman has shared insights about the Council of Ministers, which has been a hot topic of discussion. Recently, there were two meetings held in one day, a rarity that indicates the government's urgency to propel Iraq forward on the international stage. Such swift actions suggest that Iraq is making serious strides toward integration into the global economy. Now, here's some incredible news from Intel Guru MN. Iraq has finally met all the requirements to join the World Trade Organization, WTO. While this doesn't guarantee an immediate revaluation, RV, of the dinar, these recent activities represent crucial steps toward this goal. The RV is seen as a byproduct of the broader economic advancements taking place. The momentum is building, and the path ahead appears increasingly clear. Did you know that Iraq is the third largest Arab nation in terms of gold holdings? The country currently boasts gold reserves totaling 152 tons. When compared to other nations in the region, like Jordan and Kuwait, Iraq's abundant resources set the stage for a stronger dinar. This is particularly important as Iraq diversifies its non-oil revenue streams to stabilize its currency making it a safer and more reliable option in the region. According to Dr. Shabibi, a former central bank governor, achieving safety and stability is essential for a more valuable dinar. Iraq is making significant progress in this area, which is encouraging for anyone invested in the currency. Frank 26 also noted an intriguing historical parallel with China during the 1990s. Back then, China made a slight increase in the value of its currency, which led to rampant speculation despite official denials. Just three days later, the Chinese yuan saw a minor uptick in value. This illustrates the unpredictability of government decisions regarding currency adjustments. Further context comes from Iraq's past in relation to Kuwait. During Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, the Kuwaiti dinar retained its denominations and only the appearance of the banknotes changed after a denomination. Unlike Iraq's currency, which suffered from inflation, Kuwait's remained stable. Before the invasion, Iraq's currency was valued at approximately $322, reflecting a significant difference in economic stability between the two nations. This historical insight provides a framework for understanding how Iraq may approach the future of its currency. The current progress in Iraq's economy and its international standing has the potential to pave the way for a stronger dinar. I hope you found this update informative. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below. What do you think about Iraq's current trajectory regarding its currency and its efforts to reintegrate into the global economy? Don't forget to subscribe for more updates, and I'll see you in the next video.